here in my garage. Just bought this H series. Fun to drive up in the Hollywood Hills. But you know what I like more than materialistic things? Knowledge. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more BMG Drive. And in today's video, I'm going to cover a mod that was, I, you know, I saw it coming a mile away, but I never thought it would be this great. This is the Caravan Upfit. And this isn't it right here, but it is the start of one. We actually have to build this thing. I mean, really not build it. It's only adding one one part, but <laughs> we are going to go, where is it again? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of new to this garage thing. I don't really know how to, how to... How to get through all this stuff, but we'll figure it out. All right, screw the garage. We're just gonna go with the good old fashioned in menu options because I could not figure that out. It was like some of the parts weren't there, it was acting really weird. But anyway, I feel like if we go to vehicle configuration, it's somewhere in here. It's kind of hidden to be completely honest. I think this is it, cab. No, no, no. Where the fuck? All righty, here we go. I think, please be it. Oh god, okay, yes, that's <laughs> okay. Oh boy. That is dipping quite a bit. I'm kind of good. I'm kind of glad I went with the off-road Vanster here. So, is it gonna clip on the inside? That is the question. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh no! Actually, I think we might be able to fix this though if we kind of turn it into just having the front of the van in there. We might be okay. The cab. There we go. Is that gonna take away? I think so. Yes, that's looking a lot better. I mean, it's not really connected to it anymore. So I'm kind of worried about going over hills and bumps, but you know, that looks pretty damn good. And we're off. Now in the description of this mod, it said it is not gonna flip over, uh, just from like driving around. So we can go ahead and test that. Let's get up to full speed here. I think this is maxing out our speed right now. So let's just swing it hard to the right. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. It did not flip over. Well done. I mean, it was coming close. I think we were three wheel in there for a minute. Well, I guess four wheeling, but there's there's six wheels, so yeah, four wheels, <laughs> but yeah, we did not flip over, so yeah, that's plus one points, I guess. All right, suspension test, here we go, Hope this, hopefully this thing doesn't just fall apart, because it is very, very flimsy, it did kind of break a little bit, but for the most part, it's in one piece, that front panel, though, is kind of falling off. Oh no, and it's gonna, yep, yeah, there it goes, and it, <laughs> I like how it never, like, falls into pieces, really, it just comes off as one giant piece of RV. Well, actually, we can call it an RV now. Like in the last episode, I miss. I didn't. I didn't call it what it, it was a trailer, but it wasn't. A, it wasn't an RV, and I kept calling it an RV. I don't know why, but now it actually is an RV because it is a vehicle that is connected to the car. So yeah, proper RV here. Now let's do some jumps. We should be okay. Yes. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, you know what this thing needs? A little bit more speed. All right, let's navigate over to the engine here. Let's put a. Uh, we have a 5.5 liter V8 in there already, but we have a stage two supercharger. Let's just go with the stage three just for the hell of it. And how about a five, we have a five speed. Why not six speed? Just for, we'll just throw it in there for the, for shits and giggles. All right, so let's see if it's a little bit faster. Oh shit, yes it is, that supercharger though. Oh man, we might be able to get up to some pretty high speeds here. And you know what we have to do with that. We have to just go head on it straight into the wall. So we're, we're, we're about to break 100 miles an hour already. So this is probably going to be a 100 mile an hour head on collision. Oh no, this poor RV. <laughs> we go and smash. Yep, the cabin to that, to that van store is just completely gone. And this thing just flies off. What is it connected with? Like Elmer's glue or some shit? I don't know, but it just flies right off. And that is the end result. You have a sm smashed cabin, and the whole thing is just a wreck. That's kind of what I've kind of what I expected. Okay, so yeah, this thing is a lot faster. So I'm kind of curious if it's gonna flip over this time if I get up to some pretty high speeds and then just whip it around, whip it around town. What just fell off? What the hell is that? Oh, we grinded the the ground on that one, but we still did not flip over. I want to know what the hell this is. It just looks like a shelf that just fell out of the bottom of the RV. <laughs> Not really sure what that's about. Here, let's see what it looks like on the inside. I probably just... Oh, actually, you know what? It looks pretty good. Minus the shells falling through the car. I'd, I'd say we're still doing pretty good. This is the most, like, rad family there ever was. Could you... Oh, God! No! <laughs> I don't know if it was that little dip in the map right there, but we flipped over for, like, no reason that time. It kind of makes you wonder 
why we can't flip over going 90 and just cutting the wheel to the right. I have no idea. Oh man, this thing is blazing. Let's hit a jump at 100 miles an hour with this heavy ass RV. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Oh, I just snapped the back of this Vanster. <laughs> Jesus. And we're on fire. Lovely. All right, which I just want a little bit off the top, Barber. Oh, shit. <laughs> just fuck my shit up, fam. All right, we, so, so we lost some weight that we should be able to fly through the air much better now. There goes the toilet. <laughs> oh, the toilet's going for the long distance record. And now we basically look like a regular Vanster. Can we still drive? Oh, shit. We can land on our... On our front, that is. Damn it. And there's the toilet. It's very clean, to be honest. You, I know the RV looks like an older style, so I'm kind of surprised it's that clean. Is that bad? All right, since this is an off-road RV, we should be able to go through this mud and sand like it's nothing. And the only reason I think I'm not going faster is because the bottom of the RV is sinking into the, into the mud, which, you know, is probably not so good but we might be able to fix it we should probably get some off-road tires on the back i didn't really think of that damn okay i guess we can't really change the back tires that's really weird i thought for sure you could but i guess it just would not work with the uh the <laughs> the wheel wells for one and I, I guess the frame can't support it it already looks like it's stressed enough though and it's just barely not scraping the ground i wish i could change that all right so i managed to uh kind of change the ride height from the back so it's a little bit higher now it's a little bit more off the ground so we should be good as far as clearance goes except when we really gun it this thing still just its ass just scrapes the ground hardcore and there goes the steps again. oh okay those were the steps not some random ass shelves from the inside i guess we don't need the steps anyway <laughs> anyway here we go straight into the mud and that's looking a lot better. You know, it's still scraping the mud pretty bad on the back, but it is a lot better. I think we're going a little bit faster. Actually, probably, <laughs> I don't think we are at all. But still, pretty cool. We could, we, we can always use the ride height. Oh, look at that front tire. <laughs> oh, God. Ouch. All right, so how about some real world scenarios? Let's get to an actual map and see how she drives. All righty, so we're out in the wild now with the family. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do some off-roading with this bitch. It should be pretty capable. It's it's the back is Lifted and uh, we have the off-road edition and it's really pretty souped up for what it is an RV So we have to be very careful. I don't think this is gonna end well, but uh, <laughs> We're we're a family of adventure, so we're gonna go ahead and try it anyway. Uh-oh. 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 Careful. 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 Shit. Ah uh. That's okay. That's fixable right there. We should be completely <laughs> fine. Oh no, our weekend is ruined. It's okay though. Don't worry about it. We can continue. And I forgot to change it to just the cab, so we have the back of this fucking van sticking straight into the middle of this RV, which God, looks kind of ridiculous, but I kind of like it at the same time. All right, so I'm kind of curious how long this is just gonna hang on like this. This twisted, mangled piece of wood basically is what it is. Oh, some rock crawling. Oh, yes. Oh, it's still hanging on. <laughs> I think we lost the toilet, but oh, no. <laughs> that peeled away quite a bit, but it's still, still hanging on. And what the hell is this? Some debris, I guess. Oh, it's going to get tight, fellas. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess we can't go that way. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is about as far as we're gonna get this weekend. Our weekend is officially ruined. We destroyed the RV. We destroyed the car. Yeah, we. What? How long do we make it? Like two or three minutes? Not even. All right, so we have one last little adventure for our little fam, our little RV BMG family here, and I think this might be their last because we are on top of the mountain, and there's only one way down, <laughs> and it's not gonna be pretty. So let's just get it over with. Oh boy, here we go. How long is this thing going to hold on for? Let's get a little bit of slow motion in here. Just to see how, f how long this thing can hold on for. It's still hanging on for the most part. Okay, it's starting to rip off now, of course. And I feel like we're probably going to get st stuck somewhere. Oh shit, no, we're still hanging. We're still going. There's just pieces flying all the way down the mountain. There goes the toilet. <laughs> Oh, it's it's kind of it's gonna end up back in the RV. Oh wait, never mind. It's just bouncing. You know, it, you would think it would just kind of shatter into shards, but I guess not. It must be a really strong toilet. Anyway, 
it's not really recognizable as an RV anymore. And this actually might be drivable still. The actual van hasn't taken that much damage, just the mainly RV was taking all the pretty brutal hits. But yeah, we made it to the bottom. But uh, if anybody was in that RV, they are splattered across the mountain, I must say. <laughs> Let's go ahead and spawn it in some uh, more treacherous terrain here. Uh, oh, that's pretty steep. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's what's left of the RV. What the hell? Why did it do that? I don't know why, but <laughs> anyway, it's exploding again. And it's pretty much, yeah, it, it, a lot of the pieces just kind of vaporize. They don't really like break into pieces. They just kind of disappear. So you would think there'd be more pieces. There's still pieces fucking everywhere, but it looks pretty clean to be honest. And can we still drive this bitch? Yes, we can. It is still moving. <laughs> We're missing some back tires, but uh, it's still moving. So that means we can still get it into the shop to fix it. And that means more adventures for Beam and G family. And if you guys want to see some more adventures, with the BeamNG RV family. Leave a comment down below saying that you'd like to see more and I'll definitely do some more because it is a lot of fun. And if you have any other ideas for other mods or, or ideas for just videos in general that you want to see on the channel, leave those down below as well. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and end this video. If you liked what you saw, leave me a like and a comment and I will talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.